Okay, let's look at uh, an example of how we might describe a distribution that's presented in a box plot. So here it says a researcher for the UN gathered data on the number of hospitals present in a variety of small developing nations. The box plot is below. Describe the distribution. So in doing this, let's make sure. First of all, notice it's a box plot. It's oriented vertically, okay? So sometimes they're oriented um, horizontally. But a lot of times you use box plots to compare distributions. So you might see a whole bunch stacked here horizontally or stacked vertically, but many of them in a row. But in any case, they, everything means the same thing. When we comment on this, we're going to want to be sure to indicate the um, the shape, the center, the spread, and any unusual features, maybe like outliers. Okay, so wh whatever word we choose to use, we want to make sure we touch on those features. So Let's start with the one thing we know based on what we know about box plots. Um, this is the median, right? That's what that line represents. So let's indicate that. Um, the median number of hospitals is, now we don't know exactly, but that looks about halfway. So let's just say halfway between 150 and 200. Say 170 to 175. Um, while we're at it, let's talk about the middle, sort of the middle uh, 50%, which is the distance between, this is Q1 and that's Q3, the third and first quartiles, which is also the interquartile range. So the interquartile range. is about, so let's just kind of guess at these values. This looks like it might be like 130 maybe, and that might be like 190. So let's just say about, that distance is 60. So let's say about 60 hospitals, which means, and so the, remember that a box plot divides the data into roughly four equal sections in terms of the number of data values. So this would mean that the interquartile range is about 60 hospitals, which means uh, about 50% of the countries have hospitals or I guess I really should say have between um, have between 130 and 190 hospitals. Okay, so at this point I've talked about um, the center using the median, which is the only thing we have. We can't get the, the mean here anyway. You can't get the mean from a box plot. Um, I've indicated pretty much the spread. I've, I've indicated the interquartile range, which is a good way of describing the spread. And the median, the median and the spread should always, uh, sorry, the median and the, the interquartile range should always be reported together. Um, let's talk about um, the shape. It looks like this data is largely skewed left. It's largely skewed left based on that really low value there of about like 10 hospitals. So there might be an outlier country that has um, that just doesn't represent the overall the overall trend of the data, right? There's probably there might just be one hospital down there um, that um, that just has so few number of hospitals. Uh, one country, I mean. So we don't really know that, but we might just at least point that out. So the, the data is largely skew left with a um, nation that has about 10 hospitals. Okay, which might be an outlier. We don't know, but
We don't know, but maybe maybe it is. We would have to do some further research or get more details about the data. Um, okay, so I talked about the center using the median. I've talked about the spread using the interquartile range. I've talked about the shape. And I've talked about a potential outlier, even though we don't know. So I've touched on the, big, the, the main things. And moving forward, this will help us when we're trying to compare two distributions. So you'll want to adopt the, um, this framework when describing distributions so that it'll make it easier to, to, to compare them.